For homework question 54, we're given this following information about iron 2 hydroxide. Iron 2 hydroxide has a KSP of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 15, and we're asked what pH will iron 2 hydroxide precipitate from solution? And to answer this question, we need to think about the equilibrium of iron 2 hydroxide. So iron 2 hydroxide ionizes into iron 2 plus and the two hydroxides. So this is where the pH is going to come in because we're going to get hydroxide in solution from the ionization of iron 2 hydroxide. We know from our hydroxide concentration we can get pOH and then pOH can be turned into pH of this solution. So we can set up an ice table our initial, our change, our equilibrium concentrations, right? Our initial concentration, they tell us in this problem, I've got 0.57 molar iron 2 plus. We're going to have zero hydroxide. In this ice chart, we can kind of ignore the change in concentration of iron 2 plus because our initial concentration is going to be so much larger than our change in concentration. So we can basically just say a negligible change and then equilibrium will have 0.57 molar iron 2 plus. However, the change we can't ignore is how much hydroxide we're going to get from iron hydroxide, right? The iron was already in solution, so we need to figure out how much hydroxide we would have at equilibrium. So in this case, we're going to call that X. We can call that X because we already know the concentration of iron. You might have been inclined to call it 2x because that's the concentration relative to iron, but in this case, these two concentrations are not together. The iron is already in solution. We know that concentration. We want to find what would be the concentration we could hold of hydroxide from the iron 2 hydroxide with this amount of iron already in solution. So that means we're only really solving for the concentration of hydroxide. So our KSP expression would be our concentration of iron 2 plus times our concentration of hydroxide squared. We know our KSP, that's 1.8 times 10 to the minus 15. Concentration of iron is 0.57, and our concentration of hydroxide is x squared. So we're going to take our KSP, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 15. We're going to divide that by our concentration, 0.57, and we get x squared. So this is step one. x squared equals about 3.16 times 10 to the minus 15. We want to find x because x is our hydroxide concentration. So take the square root of both sides. And x, which is our hydroxide concentration, comes out to be about 5.62 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. Now we know our hydroxide concentration. Now we can find our pH of this solution. So step two. All right, pOH is the negative log of our hydroxide concentration. pOH equals the negative log of 5.62 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. So the pOH of this solution comes out to be approximately 7.25. And then finally, we can find the pH because we know pH plus pOH equals 14. So the pH of this solution equals 14 minus the 7.25. So we're going to see we actually would have a slightly acidic solution when iron hydroxide will start to precipitate. The pH of this solution would come out to be about 6.75. Because of our concentration of iron is two decimal places and two significant figures, we want to have two decimal places for two significant figures in the pH that we report. So we would report a pH of 6.75. When you're doing this calculation, just be careful that these initial values right, are a variable. So your initial concentration 
of iron will be different, but the steps would be the same. We would use that concentration of iron to find what concentration of hydroxide could we hold in solution. We turn that concentration of hydroxide into a pOH because from pOH we can go to pH of the solution.